Now we've got a treat for you. He's one of the most famous faces in the South and tonight he made his final presenting appearance on ITV Meridian. Fred Dynage has presented local news programmes for 38 years and I'm delighted to say he joins us now. Now Fred, you've just come off air, so how was your final programme? It was incredibly emotional, Anjana, and lovely to speak to you, by the way. And great to be on BBC South today. How many ITV presenters can say that? But no, it was so emotional because I just thought, I mean, Sangeeta, my co-presenter, said, there's a little three-minute section at the end of the programme and you'll be in that, Fred. And I said, fine. So I'd learned all my lines and everything else, and suddenly everything changed. And there were some wonderful, wonderful tributes from former colleagues, from, from our viewers. It was incredibly emotional, and I, I'm just very, very touched because I'm just, I'm just a broadcaster, and, and to get that kind of reaction is just just amazing. I can't believe it. Well, it's also well-deserved. We, I must admit, we did watch a bit of it in the studio here when we probably should have been preparing for our own programme. Now, you started your TV news career in 1963. So what are the stories you most remember in that time? Well, I started in 63 on a, on a children's magazine programme uh, for Southern Television. It was a seven-week contract. And amazingly, 58 years later, I'm still here. I've got so many, so many memories. I mean, D-Day anniversaries have always been a bit special. We've had hurricanes along the South Coast. I got deeply involved in the very sad story of the murder of Sarah Payne. Uh, I got so involved with, it, with, with the family. And that sticks in my mind as well. But many happy stories and sandcastle competitions and, and the lovely people I've met along the way. I mean, I've been so incredibly privileged. I really have. What will you miss most, Fred? I think most of all, I shall miss my colleagues uh, here at ITV Meridian because they're a wonderful, wonderful bunch. And I really do mean that. And I'll also miss our viewers who have given me such warmth and affection for so many years. It's just been incredible. But I'll still see them in the street because they all stop for a chat and I love all that. Yes, of course, because we are, in theory, we're rivals, you're ITV, we're the BBC, but actually we all do the same job. And we're also, we're colleagues and friends as well. And we oh, have a huge amount of respect for what you do there. Yeah, no, very much so. And, uh, you know, we're, we're hugely admiring what you do down there. Um, and yes, it's always been a friendly, a friendly rivalry. And that's the way it should be, I think, don't you? Now, Fred, what are you going to do with your newfound freedom? Well, I've, I'm going to be doing my crime programmes for another channel. I'll be doing uh, How, which is coming back again, How, which I've loved for so many years. That started in 1966 and became How to. Fred, I'm so sorry. We're going to run out of time. I'm going to have to stop you there. Can you well, say bye-bye to the BBC Saturday viewers for me? So that, viewers, as the old broadcaster used to say, is how for now. Thank you, Fred.